type systems are a form of compositional abstraction, but can also be seen as lightweight verification methodologies. Once a soundness theorem is proved, stating that typable programs are guaranteed to satisfy some desirable property. This idea can be applied to a myriad of programming languages and calculi, following a variety of disciplines and allowing for the verification of various kinds of properties, well beyond the usual view of types as a way to guarantee safety. This paper is about the scenario in which programs are functional and effectful, randomized in particular. Intersection types are the paradigm of choice, while the target property one would like to ensure as the flavor of reachability. The literature on the subject is rather sparse, although the problem is certainly of interest to the popular community. Moreover, one may wonder whether the implication between typeability and correctness can be common equivalence, given what is known in the purely functional case. As is well known, intersection types are sound and complete for termination. We answer this question affirmatively by proving that termination precisely corresponds to typeability. The result, however, is spelled out in a rather unusual way, namely as an equation. On the left hand side, we find the probability that the evaluation of a given term terminates. Remember that we are working with a randomized calculi here. On the right hand side, there is a numerical value related to typeability, namely the norm of the types of a certain kind which can be attributed to the term at end. Observe that we have to take the, la the least upper bound. As we will see in the following, another notion of termination makes sense in the realm of randomized computation, namely one based on expectations. Noticeably, our type system is capable of capturing expectations themselves. Indeed, the expected number of steps to normal form equals the least upper bound of the weights one can attribute to terms in our type system. Besides the two results we have just mentioned, we also prove some side results. The first one states that the fact our type system requires infinitely many derivations to be considered when checking a term for termination is somehow inevitable due to strong recursion theoretic limitations. We also prove our type discipline to be robust by successfully instantiating it on call by value and call by name evaluation. Finally, we managed to prove that non idempotency is necessary to get a perfect match between the static and dynamic semantics, and that this must hold both for intersection types and for monadic types. After this brief outline, we now give some technical details about our work but we do it only after having introduced the basics about randomized higher order computation and intersection types. Once a strategy is fixed, term evaluation in any deterministic calculus or programming language can be modeled by way of deterministic reduction systems. As an example, any term M can be reduced to another term n, itself reducible to l, and so on and so forth. In other words, we are in presence of an abstract reduction system in which the reduction relation is actually a partial function, undefinedness corresponding to values. Switching to randomized calculi substantially changes the picture. As an example, from any term m, one can move to two terms n and l, each with probability one half. And from the former, one can evolve to either p and q, with probability one third and two thirds respectively. In other words, traces of execution are replaced by reduction trees, where branching captures probabilistic choice. 
deterministic transition systems, in other words, are naturally replaced by probabilistic transition systems, in which the reduction relation maps any state to a distribution of states when defined. Let us now take a brief look at how termination can be spelled out in the realm of probabilistic reduction systems, and how it differs from the usual notion of termination. Given a term m, let time m be the number of reduction steps separating m from a value. Well, time m is a natural number or infinity in deterministic transition systems. It, however, becomes a random variable in probabilistic transition systems, because its value depends on the outcomes of the performed probabilistic choices. Of course, we are interested in the event corresponding to the random variable time m having a finite value here. One first way of spelling out termination in a probabilistic setting consists, precisely, in stipulating that termination seen as a probabilistic event has probability 1. This is the so-called almost sure termination. A stronger notion of termination, called positive almost sure termination, instead corresponds to asking time t to have finite expectations. A counterexample to the equivalence of the two definitions is the fair binary discrete random walk on the natural numbers, which is notoriously AST, but not PAST. It is now time to see how the calculus on which we will define our type system looks like. It is actually a pretty standard untyped lambda calculus in let normal form, the only unusual construct being one for binary probabilistic choice. For the sake of simplicity, probabilistic choices are assumed fair here but all what we are going to say also hold when a more general form of choice is available, namely one in which uh, the right-hand side and the left-hand side can be uh, chosen with probability r and 1 minus r, where r is any rational number between 0 and 1. The dynamic semantics of the calculus is specified as a probabilistic transition system in a very natural way. This, once a natural notion of evaluation context is given. Let us take a look at an example, namely a lambda term producing an infinitary behavior which, however, looks pretty benign. Its reduction tree is the one you can see on the slide. Notice that there is indeed a branch which is infinite, but that this branch has null probability. Indeed, the probability of convergence of M is trivially equal to 1, while the expected time to termination can be computed by way of a telescopic formula, and is easily seen to be 4, thus finite. How hard is it to check programs terminating? In the realm of deterministic programs, termination is well known to be recursively enumerable when spelled out for computations and sigma 0 to complete in the case of functions. Kaminsky and others have recently proved that the situation is rather different when speaking of randomized computation. Both forms of termination are not recursively enumerable. In the case of computations, AST is pi 0 to complete and PAST is sigma 0 to complete. The fact that deterministic termination is recursively enumerable is one of the reasons why one is capable of characterizing terminating terms by way of a type system. If we ask ourselves which terminating programs simple types leave out, we immediately realize that there are many. The main reason being 
that functions can use their argument in fundamentally different ways, as epitomized by so-called self-applications. The idea behind intersection types is precisely the one of allowing the same term to be typed in distinct ways by enriching the type system with sets or multisets of types. Here we present the variant with multisets, in which the intersection operator becomes non-idempotent. Coming up with typing rules is quite straightforward once the role of type multisets is clarified. Please observe that typing a value with an intersection type requires typing it with all the types in the underlying multiset. This way, type derivations can treat any possible use of a value independently. Even if the class of type terms is considerably larger there than for simple types, this remains included in the class of normalizing terms. And surprisingly, this is enough to get completeness, itself provable, by, by way of subject expansion. Now, how could we make intersection types capable of capturing probabilistic termination? First of all, we have to handle those situations in which terms reduce to values having a certain type, but only with a certain probability. For example, this term reduces to the identity, but only half of the times. This is naturally captured by distributions of types, which in this paper are taken in their non-idempotent version, called the multidistributions. They are multisets of pairs consisting of a type and a rational probability. This way, all axioms of a barycentric algebra hold, except one, namely weighted idempotency. But this is not the end of the story. One also needs to capture the fact that functions could make use of their argument only with a certain probability. For example, this function uses its argument twice, but with probability 0.5. This aspect can be captured itself by a quantitative variation on the concept of a multiset, this time dubbed a scaled multiset. Each type in the multiset comes equipped with a scalar, but the sum of all the scalars in the scaled multiset is not necessarily bounded by one. Summing up, we need three kinds of types, arrow types, which map intersection types to type distributions, intersection types themselves, namely scaled multisets of types, and type distributions, namely multidistributions of intersection types. Once the appropriate type structure has been identified, designing typing rules is relatively easy. Only a couple of rules deserve to be discussed further. First of all, the two branches of a binary probabilistic choice can come with completely different types, which are then mixed by a convex combination in the resulting type. Type environments are treated similarly. The typing rule for the let construct is definitely the most complicated, but also the most interesting. The body n has to be typed many times, once for each intersection type for m. Again, the corresponding types are appropriately mixed in the conclusion. Positive rational numbers called weights can be attributed to type derivations following their structure. As you probably remember, the characterization of expected evaluation times is precisely based on that. As you can easily realize, looking at how weights are computed, the size of any type derivation is related to its weight, 
but only abstractions, probabilistic choices, and let constructs actually count. Moreover, any portion of the type derivation is scaled by the probability that it will eventually be used during the evaluation. Let us take a look at a couple of examples. The first one is our running example, which, as you probably remember, is both AST and PAST. We can start by typing N in two different ways, combining the two derivations into one, having weight 2, for N. Taking the second such derivation for N and combining it with a new one, we get a new derivation approximating the behavior of M, this time with weight 3. Iterating the process, one can build, as expected, type derivations for M whose weight is arbitrarily close to 4 and whose type is a tight type whose sum is arbitrarily close to 1. It is actually impossible to come up with a single type derivation with weight 4 or with a type summing to 1. Soundness and completeness, in other words, only hold up to approximations. As a second example, we consider the infamous term omega, which is well known to always diverge. It should come as a surprise, at least for those familiar with intersection type, that one can type omega. Indeed, any type derivation for it is bound to have the empty type distribution as its conclusion. What really matters, however, are the weights of those derivations, which can for very good reasons be made arbitrarily large. In fact, following the same kind of uh, iteration as uh, in the previous example, we can pump the weight up to any natural number n. This example shows a peculiar aspect of our type system, namely its capability of typing purely divergent terms. This is essential, given our emphasis on completeness. Fine. So we can go back to the two equations which represent the main result of this paper and discuss them in more detail. First of all, the class of types which serve to characterize the probability of termination are the so-called, and already mentioned, tight types, and are simply the type distributions with support consisting of the empty multiset alone. The norm of each such tight type, instead, is nothing more than the sum of the coefficients in the type distribution. The proof of this result make heavy use of subject reduction, which unsurprisingly has a quantitative flavor here, and of subject expansion, namely the dual result. Each of them has, as a corollary, one of the inequalities which together imply the equation. When characterizing expected evaluation times, one can restrict her attention to a specific tight type, namely the empty distribution. As for the proof of this result, we again need reduction and expansion theorems, but this time they have to be further refined and formulated taking evaluation time into account. Let us now re-examine the three side results we outlined at the beginning of this talk. Optimality is proved by an encoding of Turing machines, actually randomized Turing machines, into our lambda calculus, which, together with some hardness results by Kaminsky et al., imply that AST and PAST remain 
non-recursively enum enumerable even in lambda plus. AST is pi 0 to complete and PAST is sigma 0 to complete. That intersection types are optimal then can be seen from the fact that containment into sigma 0 2 and pi 0 2 can be proved through the type system as outlined in the slide. About robustness, here is a variation on the theme of our type system, this time tailored for call by name evaluation. As you can see, the rules need to be tuned, but the overall structure remains essentially the same. About the role of non-idempotency, one should mention that if one replaces multidistributions with distributions inside types, subject expansion would fail. This shows that non-idempotency is not only necessary to reflect the expected evaluation time of terms, but also essential for preciseness. We are definitely not the first ones interested in termination analysis of randomized or probabilistic programs. There is indeed quite some work on this problem based on program logics, abstract interpretation, and the interpretation method from the writing theory. Given that we target higher order randomized programs, however, relating to type system is especially important. Among the rather sparse literature on the subject, one should certainly mention a PPDP paper by Brovard and the first author on intersection types and probabilistic programs, which, however, suffers from some limitations. In particular, since everything is idempotent, completeness is very hard to get, while expected evaluation times are simply, are simply not taken into account by typing. Talking about ongoing and further work, one should certainly mention the study of decidable fragments of our type discipline, for which type inference is highly undecidable by design. Following the successful line of work on the use of intersection types in the synthesis of components, it is natural to look at the applicability of these techniques to probabilistic components. There is some ongoing work on that. Finally, the way we handle probabilistic choices, namely by injecting the corresponding monad into types, suggests that a generalization of our type discipline to algebraic effects is within reach. Thank you for your attention.